Hey, is this thing on? You know? uh, I guess it is. Uh, how y'all doing? <clears throat> My name is Willie Johnson, and um, I've been referred to your agency to, uh, you know, work on some some stuff that's going on with my family. So I, I wanted to take a minute, a couple minutes, and tell y'all like exactly what's going down with my family, and and see whether y'all can, you know, figure out something that can help a brother out. Cause you know, I need to just get my knowledge pressure that I'm under, but you know, I just need to just drop some knowledge on y'all. So so check it out. So my name Willie Johnson. I'm 53 years old. I'm a high school graduate. I'm originally from Louisiana. Um, I've been married uh, about 15 years to a wonderful woman named Ophelia. Uh, Ophelia is about 40 years old. Uh, she's a Mexican girl too. I, you know, I, just my little senior reader man. Um, and uh, she uh, graduated down in 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 uh, down in Mexico many years before she came to this country. Uh, and so she relocated to uh, you know the United States, and, and we hooked up. We met uh, back then, and it was you know it was just on. Uh, right now we got three children. We got Willie Jr., who's uh, about 14 years old. We got uh, Missy, who's nine, and we have a uh, five-year-old Maria. And uh, right now we live in uh, in some rental property on the east side. Uh, Ophelia works full time. She got a really good job. She's been there for about five, six years now, I think. Um, me, on the other hand, you know, I was doing all right working uh, at this this factory for a while, making pretty good money. But you know, the economy came through and stuff fell off, and so uh, my unemployment eventually ran out. So right now, you know, I'm working a couple of part time jobs. You know, so I'm at night, but you know, they ain't really consistent and regular, and you know, it's 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 creating some some issues. Because uh, cause financially everything is real tight, you know, uh, uh, and we so we need to get some help along that line. So if that's something y'all can do to get a brother some money, uh, I'll be more than happy to to go along with that. Uh, so, but a couple of things is that's going down uh, right now. Life is so stressful uh, at our house that I'm honestly thinking about, you know, whether I want to just get a divorce and just, you know, I'm just tired of all the nagging and the fighting and all of just the bullshit that's going on. So I'm ready to just to get out uh, of this whole situation, and then add on top of this, you know, uh, uh, I got a child protection case now. Uh, they talking about neglect on me and Ophelia because, you know, we had to leave Missy at home uh, to watch uh, little Maria while we were both at work. I got called in the shift, you know, I can't afford to miss no money, so, you know, she ended up. I don't know where Willie was, but and that's a whole nother story. But anyway. Uh, you know, Maria ended up falling down, breaking her arm, and so child protection found out that we wasn't around, so we didn't want to try to talk to somebody that we've been neglectful parents. That's a bunch of bullshit, but, you know, it is what it is. We're we just going to just deal with that whole thing. Um, uh, I love my family. I, I really want us to get the help. I'm committed to, to doing that. Um, I, I suffer from manic depression. Uh, I'm Supposed to be taking medication, but you know the medication side effects me messing the brother up. So I, you know, I take it sometimes when it's real bad, but other times I just don't. So uh, you know, you know, I have to also admit, you know, I do smoke a little weed every now and then just to, you know, take the edge off. But you know, feed be tripping, but I don't do it around the kids and nothing like that. You know, I'm always by myself and I don't, you know, I don't bring it in the house and nothing like that because I don't, you know, that's I'm gonna be a bad parent and nothing like that. So. <clears throat> Um, and then, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I got I got pulled over, and so I got sighted foot and driving under the influence. So, you know, I drank a little too. Uh, so I didn't get arrested, thank God, but uh, I'm going to have to go to court and, and do a fine. So I know that's coming up, and, you know, we're already financially strapped. So, uh, oh, man, it's rough. Um, so, like, uh, Ophelia, you know, she's really a quiet, kind of withdrawn person. She's a beautiful gal. I love her to death. A good mom, uh, you know, she really loves her family. She really works hard to try to make this thing work out for us. But, you know, I, I've noticed, you know, in all the years that we've been together, um, around, like, the holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas time, she, like, just turns into a whole different person, man. She'd be, like, crying and all withdrawn and freaking out, and she, like, snaps over a little bitty stuff. And, and I'm like, what's up, babe? She won't, you know, you know, she ain't really forthcoming and talk to me about it, but she did say something about you know, when she was in Mexico before she came over here, that she, uh, 
you know, she got sexually assaulted by her uncle or something, man. And, you know, when she told the family what was going down. And, you know, the family, they just blowed it off, man. They said, you know, you're going to be all right. You, we Catholic family. You pray about it. You, everything will be fine. And so I don't know whether, you know, and I know what she said one time. She told me it happened around the holidays. I don't know what's going on. Maybe maybe some connection. I don't know. But, you know, it's just it's making a brother crazy. So she needs to get that fixed and some other stuff too, man. So, um Missy, uh, my my uh, my nine year old, she's my my special baby. Uh, Missy was born with some uh, to developmental delays, and so uh, she she's somebody, somebody's got to be there all the time watching Missy. You know, hang on, let me, let me get my coffee. She's and watching her at the house, you know, because she can't be by herself and be unsupervised. But um, uh, but but you know, so one time, you know, like I told you with the CPS got involved because we had to leave Missy to look after her little sister Maria and then you know she fell and all that stuff so that's how we got the child protection case but we'll be working that out too so but uh Missy you know she got the delays and you know I, I love her to death but she's my special little baby but she, she she just slow she don't she can't do no better and you know I don't know um uh, Maria on the other hand you know, that's my little that's my baby you know I love her she, I love all my kids, but Maria, she is my love. She, my love. She just, she a trooper. She just, she busting out good grades in kindergarten. She's just a happy, well-adjusted kid. I, man, I can't. I just, you know, I wish all of them was like that. Um, and then finally, I guess uh, we need to talk about Willie Jr. He's my 14-year-old. Um, always was a good kid, a pretty good student. But this boy, man, I just want to choke him out sometime. This boy is telling me he gay. That he like guys, man. That, that is the craziest. Boy. That boy, so, something wrong with him. Uh, something wrong with him. He, he must have dropped him on his head when he was little or something. But you know, I told him I ain't raising no gay people in my house, and he got to deal with that. He got to deal with that somewhere else. And so, but you know, it's all caused and a whole bunch of stress in my family. Uh, you know, we don't really have any family here. Uh, we do go to uh, church regularly. We do go to a Baptist church, and, and we're really involved, and so everybody's involved in church. Um, you know, I've got some pretty good friends who will help me kind of keep my head on straight, and, and Ophelia's got some good friends, too, that just kind of wrap around us and, and help us get through things. Uh, but uh, uh, we're struggling, and we really need some help. And so if, if the Scholastica Social Service Agency has some services or some things that we can ourselves to we really would like to have a social worker uh, sign our case so we can actually start working through some of these things so uh, I, I hope this helps y'all I really hope that y'all can help us and so we just look forward to hearing from y'all real soon uh, and uh, get back with us and, and let us know uh, how we can work this thing out but uh, you know like I said I love my family I want us to stay together we, we dedicate to doing that but you know some of this bullshit this stuff got to change man some things is, is, that ain't working right so uh, so that's all I got to say so it was good talking to y'all so uh, that's, that's, that's how we're going to do that